Hey guys, Tokyo Treats here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fun little bunk bed and drawer for your pet. Before starting this craft, be sure to seek out a parent's help. Okay, so for this project you'll need First, select four jumbo popsicle sticks that are consistent in size, set to the side. Next, cut out six pieces of your jumbo popsicle stick that are consistent in size, and these will be the width of your bed, so decide how wide you want your bed to be. My pieces are about two and a half inches wide, so if this is your bed, that's how your pet will fit. Cut two of these sections in half. And if it completely splits, then of course you'll have to do another one. But oftentimes they won't. And then just file to make sure that it is straight. Do this twice as you will need three of the smaller pieces. If you have small popsicle sticks that are the same color. You don't need to do this. You can use those instead. And you want your three pieces to be fairly consistent in size. Then file your three narrower pieces and your four wider pieces along the tops and bottoms just to make them a little bit smoother. Cut out five longer pieces. These will go, these will be for the length of your bed and mine are just under four inches long. And then one of these you will cut in half. Again, file your pieces to make sure they're nice and smooth. And do the same along the tops and bottoms. Place those to the side. Measure and cut out a thin piece of cardboard that is a little bit taller and a little bit longer than one of your popsicle sticks that will be the length of your bed. Cut out four pieces of cardboard that are slightly more narrow than your wide piece of your bed and slightly shorter than your long piece. But the length of your cardboard piece should be such that when you combine it with the width of two popsicle sticks, it is the length of that bottom length piece. Then use your cardboard pieces to determine how big your mattress needs to be. It should be just slightly smaller than your cardboard. Um, I'm using uh, some packaging material kind of like foam. Um, you could use foam sheets, you could glue a couple together, you could also just wrap a piece of cardboard with a couple of paper towels. Glue two sets of two pieces together. Set to the side, glue your shorter piece, allowing enough room for your drawer. So if we assume your drawer will be almost at the bottom glue your piece right here. Then do the same a few inches up. And when using hot glue, I try to use the least amount possible so that it doesn't squirt out everywhere. Repeat for your other side. Cut out four small pieces of a popsicle stick to fit inside each area. Then glue to the inside of each section. Cut out a piece of your thinner cardboard that is the same length but not quite as wide glue your cardboard pieces, do it right along the bottom, glue your pieces, to either side. Then do the same along the top. Glue your long pieces along the sides, of the top and bottom. Glue your fifth piece 
almost to the bottom. And take your thinner piece of cardboard, ensure that it will still fit. Trim if necessary so that it will move freely. Back and forth. Then ensure that your front piece is flush with your popsicle stick. So trim as needed to ensure your drawer is the correct height, you want to just barely be able to see that cardboard. So it's still a little bit too tall, I'm going to trim it just slightly. Then wrap in scrapbooking paper. Cut out two more pieces of thin cardboard to act as sides, ensuring that they will slide comfortably underneath. Cut out another piece in the same width as your front, then glue all three pieces to your bottom piece. And for this, I'll be using tacky glue. Glue your front piece. While your drawer is drying, glue your final pieces. glue a bead as the handle for your drawer then wrap in a fun material and tape or glue wrap a folded piece of a paper towel and tape for an easy pillow or so a pillowcase Okay, and when your drawer is completely dry, place inside. Add your pets, your tiny little teddy bears, and you are good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook, and be sure to tune in for my next project. Thanks guys, bye!